Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Slime Boss here, and welcome to my 35th anniversary, my Super Mario Brothers special. And we are going to be playing through Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, today, I will probably just do uh, the first world, and then, as per usual, doing everything by world. And yeah. So, everything. So, yeah. This is going to be my Super Mario uh, 3D uh, 35th anniversary special. Uh, you guys probably saw my. Uh, reaction to the direct earlier. I keep failing at that for some reason. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'm finally actually playing this on original hardware. Uh, usually I play games on emulation, but now I'm playing it on my SNES NES Classic. So yeah, that's very cool. Uh, might as well show this off. Uh, there's no reason why not to. Uh, go. Oh, did I do that wrong? Oh, my. There's a brick there for some reason. Uh, there's that weird glitching thing off the side. I can't fix that. That's just a part of the game. So, yeah. It's like Kirby, except it has it on the other side. Actually, it does have something on the other side. And it's just like a blue line. Anyway. That's besides the point. So, this is my 35th Mario uh, s s uh, special. We're going to be playing through the entire game. Uh, as per usual. Uh, okay, that's also jump, and... Oh, it's like opposite, that's weird. Okay, never mind, I'm sorry, I was just thinking about my controls. So, yeah, here we are, we're in the game, and we're doing stuff. Oh, that was a weird music glitch. But, uh... Yeah, the NES seems to have, like, a lot of music glitches, because it, like... The music is, like, stored in the cartridge. Like, uh, so... This doesn't have the pocket, yeah, it doesn't have the pocket. I hit you! Oh my god, I almost died. Um, so, yeah, so this is the next Mario game in the series that I haven't played yet. Uh, oh god, whoa, that scared the crap out of me. Okay, uh, I feel like I'm doing on too many topics here. So this is the second Mario game this year. Uh, so yeah, and there's gonna be a third. So I know you guys are thinking, oh, you know, where's the Pokemon Let's Play? You said you'd finish that. Uh, so yeah, I still game. I'm working on it. Uh, I'm working on finishing that. Uh, so, yeah. It's almost, uh, so, I'm gonna do something special, and you guys are gonna have to, uh, wait for an update video on that. So, yeah, just, just a little update on Pokemon. Oh, I didn't know that was there, that scared me. Uh, so, yeah. Update on Pokemon, uh, it'll, it's coming, don't worry. And, yeah, so this is, um, anyway, I should be talking about enemies here, so, right there, that was a Boomerang Brother. Uh, these are Red Koopas, there are Green Koopas, uh, Right there, there's some with, that was a really weird thing, uh, some with wings, some, some that come with wings, and, uh, oh, <laughs> okay, I did that entirely by accident, this gives me a chance to talk about this, so anyway, there's Goombas, there's Paragoombas, and then there's, like, red Paragoombas, I think those are called Goomba Mamas, and they'll have baby Goombas with them, haven't seen that yet. Uh, I believe that's all the enemies we- Oh, uh, piranha plants, which just come out of the pipe and nibble on you, and then fire piranha plants that shoot fire out of them. Um, so, uh, this right here is a mushroom house. Pick a box. Its con contents will help you on your- on your way. So just, uh, I'll just pick the middle box. Right, we got a mushroom out of that. Um, so... At the end of the game, at the end of each level, there's a special mini game that you get by picking an item out of the roulette. And if you are to uh, get three matching items in a row, you get X amount of one-ups. Uh, on screen right now, I'll show a picture of like all the different one-up options uh, that you could possibly get. All right, here we are. Anyway, about the music. Uh, so the music is sort of like stored. Like, in the same place as the sound effects, so, essentially, when Mario, like, jumps, like, sometimes it does it, but sometimes it doesn't, uh, when Mario does his flutter or something, uh, or collects a coin or jumps in a sound effect, so it sort of, uh, overrides the music. Oh, yeah, so about the Koopas, everyone knows this, red Koopas, uh, if they have wings, they just go up and down like this, or side to side, and they are locked into position, uh, when they are on a platform, they stay on the platform, they don't leave. Um, uh, with Goombas, they- and Goombas and Green Koopas, uh, they just fall off and just die. 
uh, if they have wings, the, the Koopas, the green Koopas have wings, they just sort of bounce around. Oh, this is the pipe I have to go into. Uh, the Boomerang Brothers, as you can see, they throw a boomerang. I think, actually, is that a boomerang brother or a hammer? Are you not? Oh, yeah, that's a boomerang. So, boomerangs, they throw the boomerang and it comes right back at you. Um, and with Go Paragoombas, they bounce around like Koopas, but with a different pattern. So, like, they do three little hops and then a big hop. The Goomba, there's another Paragoomba that just sort of just flies off screen. We saw that earlier. So, yeah, um, anyway, right here we have a... Uh, a casino hut. I'm just gonna... Yeah, okay. So yeah, you guys know this is from Mario Maker 2. Ooh, actually, I did way better than I thought I would. So it's just a roulette thing. Same thing in Mario Maker 2. Can I go up here? Okay, yeah, I can. So there is a secret exit? I don't know. Sorry, I'm kind of rambling on here. There's just a lot to talk about when you come into the game first. Uh, that's a Potaboo right there, or a Fireball. They just go up and down and they try to get you. Those were in the original Mario as well. So, interesting thing, and here's a fire flower. I haven't really talked about the power-ups yet. The mushroom makes you big. Uh, the Tanuki suit makes you fly. If you if you hold down that P meter all the way, you'll be able to fly for a short time. Fireballs, you shoot fireballs. Easy. Or uh, the fire flower. Uh, there's a disco waffle. I don't know what it's actually called. It's the replacement for fire bars in this game. Um, yeah. So, Mario Brothers 3 is probably the best of the original trilogy. Uh, essentially, and here's a dry bones, if you hit them, they die, or they don't die, they just come back to life, and I need to hide right here, um, essentially, this is the return to form, but done tenfold, if you see the new Super Mario Bros. games, they're heavily based on this game, um, more so than Mario World, so this is basically the ultimate Mario game, or classic Mario game, here we go, so here we have a new boss, this is Boom Boom, Bum Bum. He just jumps around and does, and when you hit him, he goes into a shell and I just got hit. And there we go, we defeated him. Upon defeating, you'll get this new type of end goal, which I talk, okay, I should talk about this. The end goals in Mario 1 were flagpoles. The end goals in Mario 2 were just birds. In this game, they're little item roulettes, like I explained before. But when you defeat a boss, or a mid-boss, you get this weird uh, question mark orb. I think they're just called orbs, because in Mario World they're called orbs. And there we go, so there isn't any secret exits. That explains that. So basically every time you get a mid-boss, you basically make an easier way to get back to the start. Speaking of the start, which we'll get into in a second, uh, here's another little mini-game that you can play. All you have to do is fight the Hammer Bro. Speaking of Hammer Bro, uh, that's a Hammer Bro. He throws uh, hammers in an arc, and when you do this, you get a star. Very cool. Bum ba da bum ba bum. All right. So, if you go onto the start icon, oops, uh, take it off. Oh, I don't. I didn't want it. Uh. Um. Uh. You're supposed to be able to access start, but I don't know why it's not letting me. Uh. I'll explain it in the bonus video then. Uh, those are Buzzy Beetles, they're just Koopas, essentially. Uh, here we have this Superstar. It makes you invincible for a short period of time, and I ruined it. Here's our first underground stage, and what's interesting about this is that it's partially underground and partially above ground, which is something new. Oh my goodness, this scared the crap. Is this really the end of the level already? Hold All these levels are short, what the... Okay, so we didn't get a match there, so at the end of it, it'll just... All the cards will just reset. Ooh, so there's a... Here's a special pop-up one. It actually is something different. It's a matching minigame. Okay, so we have that. Uh, 20 coins. 10 coins. Oh, so we only get two chances. And I think it actually saves throughout your adventure, so you can revisit it later on. Uh, there's one thing that you can't do. Okay, so this is the first game with the world map, which is cool. Uh, I didn't mention that before. Uh, but, unlike new Super Mario Brothers game, That was weird. Unlike newer Mario games, uh, you can't actually revisit levels. You're, you're forced to push forward! Um, those right there are brand new to this game. Those are the musical notes. They basically are like springs in later Mario entries. Uh, well, actually, Mario 2. 
I, wait, is there a spring in Mario 3? Or Mario 1? I think there is, but they're essentially springs. Uh, here is a first rendition of a lift. So in the previous, in Mario 1, the lift, uh, uh, was, it just, fu it just fell. We got examples of those in the previous level. In the previous Sky World level. Uh. Dang, all these levels are short. Um. Okay, so yeah, we just get one up. Just one because we got one match. Not a full three match. So yeah. Uh, and Mar- It's based- uh, The lifts are essentially equivalent to the- Whatchamacallit, the, uh- the magic carpets in Mario, uh, Mario 2. I want this one. Okay, there we go. We got a Tanuki Leaf. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and equip that. Thank you. And now it's time for the castle. So this is something different. We are in the Mushroom World, okay? So it's not just Mushroom Kingdom. I don't even know what- I think World 1 has a name, but it's not, like, available to you right away. Um, but each of these worlds are part of the Mushroom World, or the Mushroom Island, I guess. And each world is a different kingdom. So this castle isn't Peach's castle, nor is it one of the Bowser castles. The The tower in the middle is more of like a Bowser castle. Here, we're going to the castle of a specific king. Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed. Please find the magic wand so that we can change him back. So that right there is a nice little reference to Duck Hunt, I'm pretty sure. So anyway. But, we start off in the castle so that we can get introduced to the problem. And then we end up in the first ever rendition of a, a airship. Uh, in these airships, you'll find these cannons. This is the first introduction of it. Then we have these bullet bill blasters alongside bullet bills. Uh, so uh, cannons go in sort of a diagonal pattern, while uh, bullet bills go in a straight pattern. But what's different about it is that bullet bills sort of are all of the, the little shooting items sort of go with the uh, camera, uh, which means that eventually the bullet bills will just go diagonally because of the camera. Uh, so this is one of the first auto-scrolling levels. We had an auto-scrolling level before. This is brand new to uh, Mario 3. And another thing, back there you saw the special kind of uh, cannon that sort of rotates and chooses the direction of the cannonball. Here we go, we have uh, Lamy. This is the one that usually has a ball, I'm pretty sure. So anyway, same thing, uh, except with Boom Boom, he go he just sort of sits there and goes in his cell in, in his shell. This time he moves around with his shell. And now all you have to do is hit him three times and boom, we did it. So now all we have to do is instead of collecting an orb or collecting a a uh, card, we collect the magic wand. And with that, that is the end of World One. Quite easy. Uh, I actually didn't expect to have such a good time with this. And I'm actually having fun, so it's time to record a second episode, so I'm probably just going to do it all in one sitting. Uh, however, I'm probably going to just uh, edit this video and get it uploaded first, and then finish the rest of the videos. Oh, thank heavens! I'm back to my old self again! Thank you so much! Here's a letter from the princess. Um, if I haven't covered any enemies, uh, I will make sure to put them on screen as per usual with the Mario Let's Plays, or the most recent ones. And I'll be sure to show them on screen. And everything that I couldn't explain myself, uh, because I'm just having too much fun with this game, I will be sure to um, uh, edit it in. Greeting. Uh, sorry. Greetings. If you see any of the ghosts, be careful. They will give chase if you if you uh, if you turn away. I have enclosed a jewel that helps you helps protect you, Princess Toadstool. Peach. Good old Mario 64 reference. Anyway. Uh, the item that he'll give you is a P-Wing. This is a brand new item. It's basically a Tanuki suit, except you get infinite flight right away, so you don't have to do the speed boost. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode off right there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed part one of Super Mario Brothers 3, and I will see you guys next time for part two of World 2. Thank you guys, uh, or part two, which is World 2. I'm, <laughs> this has gone on for too long. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.